Let's talk about classful versus classless IP networks. We'll start with classful. When working with classful IP version 4 addresses, the first number in the IP address dictates what class the address is part of. So here, if the number is between 1 and 126, then you're in class A. If it's between 128 and 191, you're in class B. If it's between 192 and 223, then it's class C. So those are defaults. You look to the first octet of the IP address. So in a typical Soho network, you might have an IP address like 192.168.0.1. That would be a class C IP address. Now in classful networks, each class gets a default subnet mask. So the class A default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. If you were on, say, the class A10 network, your default subnet mask would be 255.0.0.0. And in class A, you can have 126 networks total, but you can have lots of hosts on each network, 16,777,214. Now you may say, Dave, why not 216? And that's because you can't use the first or the last within any given network. The first is the network number, and the last is the broadcast number. So you can't use those for hosts. So that's class A. Class B, the range is 128 to 191. If you have a network within there, like, say, a private number, like 172.16.1.1, the default subnet mask would be 255.255.0.0. In class C, the range is 192 through 223. So, for example, if you had a Soho router that was on 192.168.0.1, its default class C subnet mask would be 255.255.255.0. And you can see the number of networks increases for each class, and the number of hosts per network decreases. So class A is great for big networks, enterprise networks. Class C is good for small offices, home offices. Now, there is an RFC, a request for comments, that was written by the IETF, and this shows, we'll bring this up here, this is RFC 1918, and this talks about address allocation for private networks, private internets, they call it. Because you can have a private network within class A, within class B, and within class C. And here are those private address spaces. In class A, it's 10. Class B, it's 172.16 through 172.31. And Class C is 192.168.0 through 192.168.255. Now, some people get a little confused with this because they see the slash 16 prefix and they think a double 255 subnet mask, which makes you think Class B. But no, this is just a 16-bit block. That's what it is. And so, like it says here, the third block is a set of 256 contiguous Class C network numbers. So while this might appear to be Class B mathematically, it's actually that set of 256 Class C networks. As such, it is interpreted by operating systems and routers as a group of Class C networks, 192.168.0, 192.168.1, 192.168.255, 192.168.255. and so on. Let's show an example of this with one of our adapters here. I'll right click on this VMware adapter. It doesn't really make a difference. We just want to get to IP version four on an adapter that is obtaining an IP address automatically currently. So let's say we wanted to put in a static address. We would type in that address and let's say we used class C private 192.168.0.1. By default, this will use a class C subnet mask. When we hit the tab key, it automatically places that class C triple 255 subnet mask in there. And what's the bottom line here? Well, the 255s refer to the network number. 
192.168.0. The zero in the subnet mask refers to the host number, the actual number of this computer, in this case, one. That's it. So this is the way it was for a long time, classful networks, and we'd use private ranges that I just showed within those classful networks. But in the beginning of the millennium, there was a big shift over to classless, where you could use any subnet mask for any network number. So here's an example of something that's classless. Here we have an IP address, 10.252.0.101. And here we have a subnet mask, double 255.0.0. Now in the classful days, which by the way, you could still use and works by default in Windows and on Soho routers and so on. But in the classful arena of things, you would say, okay, 10 network. Well, that's within the class A range. But in classless, we can just change the subnet mask to whatever we want. And that's the key. Once again, it doesn't really matter. Classful, classless, I don't care. You look at the subnet mask to tell you what the network portion is and what the host portion is of the IP address. So 255.255, the first two octets. So really the network here is 10 .252. And then 0, 0, .0, that's the host portion. So the host portion of the IP address, 0 0.101. This is also known as CIDR, Classless Interdomain Routing, pronounced CIDR. And the CIDR notation for this, you could show the IP address and then a slash 16. Why? Because if we convert these decimal numbers to binary, what you would get is one 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 dot one 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 dot and then eight zeros and eight more zeros. So you add these up and you get sixteen masked bits. Sixteen ones. So we have that slash sixteen there. That is the same as a 255.255.0.0 subnet mask, slash 16. That's the CIDR notation for that. And it's just a little bit quicker than actually writing this whole thing out. But you could go further. You could do IP subnetting and go beyond this. We could take this network number, this 10.252, and we could further subnet it by changing the subnet mask more. And we could say use 255 dot two fifty five dot two forty dot zero. So we're changing the third octet. And what that does is it divides up our network into sixteen subnetworks. Sixteen subnetworks that we can use within TCP IP. So this goes on and on. But the key here is that with classless, you don't really care about A, B, or C because we can use whatever subnet mask we want. Let's show a quick example. This is the command prompt I have here. I'm gonna run an IP config slash all, and this is a Windows 10 professional computer. Get lots of information here. And what I'm looking for is this, this ethernet adapter, dpro42. This has two statically configured IP addresses. One is classful and one is classless. We'll start with the classful. We have an IP version four address 192.168.1.250 and the subnet mask. Well, that's default for that classful. If we're on 192, default is triple 255.0. And there it is. But the other IP address, the main one I use on this particular network adapter, is 10.252.0.254 with a double 255 subnet mask. So again, 10, you know, in the classful days, you'd say that's class A with a 255 triple zero subnet mask. But no, like we're saying here, with classless, you can use whatever subnet mask you want. And just like in this example, that's what we have, 
10.0.0.0. So the network number again is 10.252. The host IP is 0.254. So it's good to know the difference between classful and classless, but so many companies, I mean, most companies and most organizations internally are going to use classless and they'll probably be doing some type of subnetting as well. But you should know both just in case, especially if you set up, say, a Soho router by default, its internal LAN will be a class C default network, classful. Uh, but you can set it up however you like, right? And that's what I do for customers. It's whatever their needs and requirements are based on their computers, their departments, and the uh, networking equipment that they have and the connectivity that they need with other companies or out to the internet or other local area networks that they might have. So a little bit about classful versus classless.